bench of the Supreme Court has quashed the message and the direction of the governor, pursuant to which the assembly was convened on 16th to remove the speaker and on 17th to pass the no confidence motion. And also has restored status quo ante as on 15th December. That is when Naban Tuki was the chief minister. It's a great day for Indian democracy and a great slap on the BJP. The Supreme Court's verdict today is a historic verdict and this will pave way for all of the states in the country to protect the healthy democracy in the country. The judgment has just come out. Let it be studied. A structured response after that will be possible because there are various aspects that need to be seen. What this has shown is that the machinations of a government uh, will not succeed uh, once the court is convinced that behind this was a game plan to destabilize a constitutionally elected government. Sir. I think this is probably the first time when a president's rule imposed by the central, uh, central government has been reversed and the democratically elected government restored. This upholds the unviable unvi uh, principle of federal structure of our constitution. It will be raised in parliament and we, are, we will also raise this. Now the government should learn to curb its authoritarian tendencies.